All right, today we're gonna tell you a little bit about how we get this thing <laughs> into our rooftop tent every night and give you a few tips about some sleeping arrangements and how to keep your, your tent clean when you have a very fluffy dog up in the tent with you. Porter weighs around 80 pounds, so getting him up into the tent can be a little bit of a challenge. Key to this method is getting him over one shoulder so that the other hand is free to grab the ladder. It's also very important to take the first couple steps carefully, especially when it's wet or slippery out. Good boy. Now, if your dog is too heavy to lift, or the idea of sleeping next to them when they're all dirty on a camping trip is not your cup of tea, there are a couple other methods that we've used successfully in the past. Porter used to sleep in the annex room that came with our rooftop tent. We'd bring a cot along and set up a little doggy bed for him down there. If you've ever worked with these annex rooms before, you probably know that they're a bit of a pain to set up. Eventually, we stopped bringing the annex along and had to find another method. Of course, it's always possible to just set up a bed in the car, but Porter gets lonely, so eventually we figured out a way to make it work up in the tent. All right, so when Porter's up here, we put a just just a Costco flannel sheet over our sleeping bag for a couple of different reasons. One, as you can see by the tail, he's a little dirty and uh, we don't necessarily want to sleep with all of the dirt in our sleeping bag, so it's an attempt to keep everything clean. Um, and secondly, he's got sharp paws, like we keep his nails trimmed and all of that, but uh, the sheet really does just protect the sleeping bag and it kind of doubles as a uh, option to keep him warm when we're camping with him in the colder months because it's a flannel sheet. Um, he doesn't necessarily like that because he's got all of the, the fluff. Um, but he usually sleeps over on my side because um, so, we use just started using a double sleeping bag. Um, but yeah, that's how we get the dog into the tent and where he sleeps. The hardest part about sleeping in a rooftop tent with Porter <laughs> is actually getting him down in the morning. He's usually pretty desperate to go potty at this point, <laughs> but the drop down the ladder can be a little intimidating. This part is a lot easier if there's someone inside of the tent to help coax him out. If you go camping with dogs, we'd love to hear about where they sleep on your trips in the comments below.